there's one more trainer to face. His name is... Gary! What? 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 Yeah, as if I didn't see that coming. He beat the Elite Four before you. Before, before. The four before. He's the real Pokemon League champion. Wait, so... So I have to beat the Elite Four and the champion, yet he just has to beat the Elite Four? That sucks, man. I get screwed. Seriously, dude. What the hell? Ugh. That is messed up. Man, okay. So I have to heal my sacrifice to the Dragonites above. And we're gonna heal up a little bit before we take on the champion, Gary. Seriously, I, I refuse to call him the champion. He is not worthy of being the champion. He, he likes to smell people. He is disgusting, man. He is disgusting. Ugh. But, take him on, we shall. Okay. You ready, guys? This is our final frontier right here. The champion in the making. Gary M.F. Oak. Dig it. Okay. Hey, Snag. I was looking forward to seeing you, Snag. My rival should be kept sh be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm in the Pokemon League Champion. Snag, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world! Oh my god, I got chills, man! I got literal chills! And this is Champion Gary, who has a nonchalant sprite no more! And he's gonna start off with a Pidgeot at level 50 freaking 9. Okay, so this is the toughest trainer in all of Kanto, right here. It happened to be your rival all along. Who the hell knew, right? So, yeah, we're gonna take him out like he's nothing, hopefully. His aerial ace, he has a, um... A sand attack for some reason, I'm not really sure. That was one of the first attacks Pidgey I'd ever learned, yet he still has it on there. What the frick? But it doesn't really matter, because it's dead! It's dead! What the hell? Okay. So now, what are you gonna do? You're gonna send out Gyarados like an idiot? No, he's gonna send out Rhydon, which is a big Wimpola in the Bankola. Uh, Rhydon is the evolution of Rhyhorn. It evolves into this beast-looking thing. However, its defenses aren't very good, because I'm gonna be able to take it out with one Surf. Despite the fact that it looks so badass. I mean, seriously, watch this. Attack the horn! <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's it's that weak. Sadly, it is just that weak. Anyways, we're gonna call out Caillou Khan because he's gonna send out his Venusaur, his main Pokemon. It's at... This is the highest Pokemon you can find in the game so far before you can beat the game. Level 63. Very high leveled. Surprisingly, and our Pokemon are at level 50, so this is going to be a little bit harder to take out. Um, if he uses the move that I hope he does, this will be pretty easy. Yep. Sunny Day is a move that actually powers up Fire-type moves, so he pretty much just screwed himself right here. So, we should be able to take him out pretty easily with one more, um, Flamethrower. Uh, he has a Citrus Berry on that thing. Why do you have a Citrus Berry on Venusaur? Why don't you give it something else like a Miracle Seed or something? I don't know, power up Grass-type moves? Come on. Seriously, dude. But anyways, it's dead, so it doesn't matter. It's death water, so it doesn't even matter. Um, let's see, Gyarados, Gyarados. We've already seen this because of Lance, so we're going to be able to take it out with Daichu pretty freaking easily. I mean, really. It's water flying. Who knew water could fly? Except in the form of a dragon. If it's a dragon, it could do anything. Yeah, anyways. Uh, sunlight's going to actually make Gyarados weaker because it's a water type, so that's the effects of uh, Sunny Day. It also powers up uh, certain grass-type moves. Which I think was Gary's plan behind it. But uh, it kind of backfired on him because I actually had a fire type out. And uh, Dragon Rage always does 40% damage, so, well, 40 HP of damage, so it's not that strong. Uh, what I plan, I think he's going to use a full restore right here, and I have no more Thunderbolts. Great. Probably should have used a PP up or something like that. Well, not a PP up, a uh, a, a, a Ether. Because, uh, that would have been good strategy on my part, but I'm not that smart, so there you go. Um, he'll probably use a, another Dragon Rage, so I might want to just go ahead and use another Etha on, uh, Raichu and Power Up Thunderbolt. I really don't want to lose this Gyarados right here, because it's very hard to take out if you don't use any good moves. 
I'm going to use a revive on Daichu, though, because I really do need Raichu to take this thing out. Um, I think Bonsai would be good at stalling it for a few turns. I really do need Bonsai to stall it out. Uh, Sunlight Faded. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, get revive. I don't know why I made that farting sound. I guess it was just funny as hell, and I was like, Oh my god, that would be funny. It's so funny if I would fart in this time in Crisis. But, eh. Uh, Thrash is also a move that actually confuses after a certain amount of turns. It goes into Fatigue and gets confused, so yeah. Um, Ice Beam should do normal damage, but it's uh, Water type and Flying type, so yeah, neutral. Wow, that did Jack squat. <laughs> Hit yourself! Yeah, uh, Gyarados has high attack, so it should do some pretty decent damage to itself. Um, let's use a Max Potion on Raichu, that way we can make sure that it will be able to si survive a couple of uh, attacks. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the thing about being uh, Thrash and Outrage, it will get confused after a while, so if you can maintain a couple of hits, you should be good. Um, I might want to bite it, maybe it'll flinch or something. Quick, flinch, flinch or something! Okay, and Dragon Rage. Ouch. 40 damage, not that big of a deal. Um, if I can make it flinch, that would be very nice. It's still confused. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, just keep hitting yourself, man. Just keep hitting yourself. Um, right now, he's probably going to use a full restore, so I might want to call out Daichu now. That'd be a good uh, idea on my part. Because he's at that uh, point where he's like, okay, I need to use something. And no, he didn't. Uh, 40 HP, that's not going to be that bad. I might... Hmm. I guess I'll just use a Thunderbolt like I planned. <laughs> and it all worked out in the end, I guess. I don't know why he didn't use the full restore. I guess he'll use it a little bit later. Uh, he actually has three full restores, and like the... Uh, Elite 4, so yeah. That's something you'd be aware of as well. As I keep saying continuously over and over again, I want to pry this stuff in your brains. You will remember the name! Okay. And Alakazam. His actually... Uh, Alakazam is actually as weak as Pokemon, which is kind of odd. Because it's actually in the 50s, whereas his other Pokemon are like level 59, level 63, and it's, it's kind of offsetting, but hey. I'm not gonna fight it. I mean, really, he's he's doing me a favor. So I'm just gonna go ahead and confuse him and use Toxic on him. He has a Future Sight set up, so that will hit me in a couple of turns. In fact, if I survive the Psychic, that would be very, very nice. Uh, zero. Dang it! I was hoping I can get a Toxic off. But hey, it never works out in the end. I mean, I'll be able to kill him eventually. Uh, let's send out Quig. Maybe it'll get some a good experience. Uh, oh, if I use Fly, I can avoid the uh, Future Sight. That'd be good. Maybe it'll hit itself. Yeah. Okay. So this is a good plan on my part. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so if Alakazam uh, hits itself, let's see. And it'll miss. Thank God Alakazam has high speed. That really worked in my favor. I'm not a big fan of Alakazam. I like it that it has a cool mustache like that, but eh, I don't know. Come on, hit yourself. If you hit yourself, that would be so good for me, and it wasn't that good for me, so... Quick, if you can live, get off that return, and... Yes! Good. See how much that'll do. Hopefully it'll do a good amount of damage, because, uh... You know, Pidgeot really likes me. Yay! It killed the Alakazam. I knew you liked me, Quick. Uh, and Arcanine. Let's see. Uh, we still have Bonsai out. I'm not really sure if it'll be able to survive a couple of turns. But hey, let's give it a shot, my man. It's our main Pokemon. It deserves a shot. That's his last Pokemon, too. Um, depending on which starter you have, the Pokemon that are actually in his team will change. I didn't really go over this throughout the entire game, but I'm going over it now that it's the last battle. Isn't that amazing? But, um, since I started off with Blastoise, he has a Venusaur in spot of what could be an Executor, so... Executor. But, uh, yeah, you want to be aware of that. Plus, it'll replace the other Pokemon as well. So, we're gonna... You know, I don't think I'm gonna live that turn, so we're gonna use a Max Potion. And we're probably going to finish it off. Like we usually do. It's like a bean burrito. Like a bean burrito. He will return, though. <laughs> and with the final full restore. But hey, we're, we're going to finish him off. If I could get a critical, that would be an amazing way to finish this off. Extreme speed always goes first. It has a base power of 80 and accuracy of 100, I think. So, yeah, sh that should be good. And surf. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Don't. Oh. oh well. We're still gonna win. I mean, really. He has one Pokemon left. I have five. Seriously, dude. 
Mine are all lower level than yours. Now you know type advantages do not work in your favor. <laughs> Anyways, took out Arcanine, his last Pokemon. And that's it, guys. We've defeated the champion and grew another level. Huzzah. Anyways, how about Intercomatic? I just love that music. I just... If there was any music in the entire game that I loved, that was my favorite music. That was the best song in the entire game. I was like... Okay, enough of this. Player defeated uh, champion Gary. No! That can't be! You beat me at my best? After all that work to become a league champ? My reign is already over? It's not fair! Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Well, you made mistakes by type advantages. I mean, seriously. Darn it, you're the new Pokemon League champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Snag. Hey, it's the old pedophile. Awesome. So you won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since your first, you first left with your Squirtle to work on the Pokedex. Snag, you have come of age. Gary, I am disappointed in you. I came when I heard you beaten the Elite Four. When I got here, you had already lost. Gary, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokémon with love and trust. Without them, you will never become a champ again. You will never become a champ's ice cream, yes. Snack, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokémon is marvelous. Snag, come with me. Okay. Oh god, the pedophile in a room alone with him. No! Huh? Ahem. Congratulations, Snag. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. The Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Snag, you've worked hard to become the new Pokemon League champion. Congratulations, Snag. You and your Pokemon are all Hall of Famous. And now, he's going to restore a Pokemon and record their information inside this machine. And now, it is time to end off this game with style, baby. We got Daichu, Raichu, we got Root and Executor, we got Bonsai, our Blastoise, we got Quick, our Pidgeot, we got Grins, our Gengar, and we got Kayukon, our Ninetales. Welcome to the Hall of Fame, guys! And this will be recorded into the PC, so if you want to remember this moment forever or more, it will be on the PC, you can just look up Hall of Fame. League Champion, congratulations! Hey Gary, smell you later! Ah -ha -ha. Um... Let's take one final look back before we head off to more adventure. And that was Pokemon Fire Red, guys, and I got the last smell off. Alright, guys, so yeah, that's it. That's Pokemon Leaf Green version. I really like this credit sequence. I, I just love how it pans and tilts through uh, all of Kanto. And you get to see your trainer up close. It's really an amazing credit sequence. I really just love watching it. I don't know why. It's just this amazing little thing. For its time, it was it was an amazing credit sequence. I know I keep saying amazing over and over, but it really was flabbergasting. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there's our trainer running through whatever the hell he's going to. I wonder if he's going home for dinner, but I doubt it. You know, our mom usually got her uh, parenting skills from TV, so, you know, I mean, why would we be going to go home? Um... These actual uh, sprites that you'll actually see on the screen every now and then of the s Star Pokemon's Final Evolution, I believe that uh, one of them actually goes back to the original uh, sprite placement or original sprite look of the original uh, red and blue games. So I think it's Venusaur. I'm not really sure, though. It might be Pikachu as well, but uh, hey. 
That's that's what I remember from reading on the internet. But anyways, um, one thing I noticed that most LPers have a trouble with is actually knowing what to say during the credit sequence or just muting muting their mics. But I have no idea what to say during this, so I'm just gonna say random crap. Gahoogly! Okay. Yeah, I haven't said that in a while, huh? Yeah, there it is. I think that was on uh, the original blue or in red games. So, what I might talk about is my next LP. I plan to do, yes, I'm actually going to say it right here. I'm going to do the Legend of Zelda. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Twilight Princess. Okay, I said it. I'm going to do Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess as my next LP. And I plan to do a lot of work into that. I'm, I'm going to like put up all kinds of pictures on the screen to help you guys get a better understanding. I'm going to be doing Epic Voices. By Epic, you'll see during the LP, though. Um, so yeah, I plan to put a lot of work in my next LP. I kind of felt like I didn't do that great of a job on this LP. I feel like I could have done better, and there's that awesome picture of Blastoise right there. Our badassery gun guy. And there's Gary. He's like, damn it, I should have won that with his baggy pants. They're blowing in the wind. It's kind of odd picture of Gary, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like I did that great of a job with this LP. I feel like I could have done better. But for the most part, I got everything I wanted to accomplish. The uh, thing that I really think I could have worked on during this was... Um, like, I skipped certain t uh, battles sometimes. And other times I just showed them, so there's like no consistency in this thing. But I've learned, so if I like do a game like this again, I know what to do. Like, I'll show all the required battles, but I'll just like show what Pokemon the other trainers have, you know? But I'm getting the idea, I'm getting the feel of it. I mean, this is my third LP, so it's like, uh, you know, I'm still getting the hang of it. And they're gonna show Pikachu for some reason. You can't have a Pokemon game without Pikachu. Even though in black and white you can't catch Pikachu right off the bat, which is kind of weird. Whatever. We're running home through the grass. We're going, Mommy, Mommy, I'm coming home for dinner. Okay. Special thanks to Takihiro. Takihiro. Kohiro. Ah, uh, Sheldo. And that's it. We made it home. Back to Mom, who doesn't even remember us and gets her parenting skills from the TV. as well. The end. Alright, guys. So I'd like to thank you all for watching this LP, a Pokemon Leaf Green version. If you like this episode, please subscribe, favorite, like, or just comment. I'll see you guys, wait for it, next LP, later.